It takes a staff of more than five to operate a tank because a tank's engine is just as much of a weapon as its main gun and because nothing kills freedom more thoroughly than a tank. It must be a single organism made up of five people. Possessing a ballistic helicopter, a laser rangefinder, and an electro-optical fire control system, and being able to fire at both stationary and moving targets during both day and night. For its ground forces, Iran has unveiled a brand new indigenous main battle tank. The new Karar tank borrows design cues from even earlier Western tanks, particularly American ones, and is a descendant of an older Russian design. If the Karar main combat tank exists at all, it is far smaller than it seems. Let's dive into the tank to capture its features. The Defense Industries Organization of Iran created the Karar main battle tank, MBT, from scratch, DIO. The enhanced driving aids and observation systems are features of the new Iranian tank. It has a digital instrument panel, satellite navigation, and cameras. A three-person crew consisting of the commander, gunner, and driver controls this tank. The new Iranian main battle tank is called the Karar, Striker. It is a considerably improved model of the Iranian T-72S tank. Iran received several of these tanks from the Soviet Union. Iran now employs 480 T-72Ss and even more outdated T-71M1 tanks, both of which are upgradable. In 2016, footage of the Karar was made public. The tank itself was first made known to the public in 2017. The improved tank includes a new turret, additional armor, observation and aiming systems, a new fire control system, as well as a number of other improvements. The aging T-72 series tank's combat capability were greatly improved by all of these upgrades in the crucial areas of defense, firepower, and perhaps mobility. Russia undoubtedly contributed to the development of the Karar. It employs some similar parts and shares several characteristics with the Russian T-90MS. The T-90MS may have been manufactured under license using Russian supplied parts. The T-90MS is more capable than the Karar, though. It is also inferior to the contemporary main combat tanks from the West and China. Comparing the Karar to the T-72S, protection has increased. A new welded turret with a turret bustle was used to replace the original cast turret. The bustle of the turret, which features blowout panels, is where some of the ammo is kept. Though it is likely that the turret bustle is inaccessible from the inside of the tank and only serves as an external ammo storage area. Despite appearing to be unique, the Iranian armor, its rubber skirts cover the hull's lower side. Cage armor covers the rear portions of the hull and turret. NBC protection and automatic fire suppression equipment are installed on the Karar. A brand new 125mm smoothbore cannon is mounted on the Iranian tank. It can fire APFSDS, HE, and HE frag rounds, among other types of ammunition. The APFSDS round's effective firing range is between 2,000 and 3,000 meters. The gun can fire conventional ammunition as well as anti-tank guided missiles. The range of these missiles is 4,000 to 5,000 meters. A metal sleeve is attached to the gun's barrel at the base. The sleeve's function is not entirely apparent. It might enhance the gun's stability when firing while moving. The firearm has an autoloader. A T-72S carousel-style autoloader is still present on the Karar. Up to eight shots per minute can be fired at the maximum pace or one to two rounds per minute when manually loaded. These tested Soviet autoloaders had the typical drawbacks of having ammo stored right in the crew compartment. The autoloader has a total of 22 rounds that are ready to fire. However, to reduce the possibility of an explosion, extra rounds are kept in a new turret bustle rather than the crew compartment. The main gun's carrying capacity is about 40 rounds, including anti-tank guided missiles. So that's all the time we have today, folks. I hope you enjoyed this video. Don't forget to subscribe to our channel and do hit that bell icon on your way out. See you all next time. Adios.